Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is so exciting. I haven't filmed an unboxing in so, so long and I've been waiting and waiting for this. So today we are going to be unboxing the Canon G7X Mark II, a classic, a must have. And if you're seeing this now, this is just your sign to either upgrade or just invest in this camera. The quality and the price point is amazing. And honestly, I wouldn't recommend a better camera I think this one this one is the best camera on the market and that's just my opinion before we get into this video I wanted to remind you to subscribe and also turn on your post notifications Also follow me on Instagram because it would mean the absolute world to me. So I guess without further ado Let's just open this on up Here she is I feel like it was just yesterday that I was selling my old one and talking to you guys about selling my equipment. If you guys are interested, I will link down below my eBay shop because I'm also selling my big camera um, just because I don't really use that one anymore. Look, here she is. I might have to charge the battery, so I don't know if I'm gonna like be able to like test out the camera right on the get-go. We have the instruction booklets. Ooh, here she is. So the box is empty. It literally just comes with these things to keep everything in place. So this is empty. I'm probably gonna keep this box because honestly, if I do wanna sell this one, if they come out with like a better version, the Canon G7X Mark III is horrible. Don't get that one because the autofocus is like super bad. So always get the Mark II. But if they like make a Mark IV or something and it's better than if I want to sell this one, I do want to keep the box. I did make a poor decision on getting rid of my Canon G7X like Mark I original box. So starting off, I have the camera strap and honestly, I'm not taking this thing off ever again. I lost the camera strap to my other camera, so it was like strapless. So here's the little camera strap, just black. And then on here, it just says Canon. And then on the back, it just has some more writing. Canon ink made in China. Hey, like me. Next up, we have the battery. Oh my gosh, if this doesn't come with a battery, I'm kind of scared. But <laughs> we have the charging pack and I did have another one. Obviously, it's charging pack or charging block thing. It looks exactly like this one. Another little form thing here. Looks like that. I don't... Just a warning thing. Oh wait, here's the battery. Oh my gosh, I was like, if this didn't come with a battery, like, no, no, no. So, oh, I shouldn't have gotten rid of the other batteries. I gave this lady, well, the person that bought my other camera, I gave her two batteries. I should have kept one. That was stupid on my part. But this is the battery. It is literally just like the original camera. <laughs> You're probably asking, why did you sell the camera then? Because this one's like, the updated one, even though everything's pretty much the exact same. And here it is. Oh my gosh. It's a little bit bigger. Oh my God, it's so pretty. And then just like normal, you have the place to put the SD card and the battery. It's literally just like the other one. But I guess the difference, I wish I had the other one to show you guys, but this is what it looks like. I'm sure you've seen like a thousand videos, but I just wanna show you from my perspective. One big difference is this piece. If you guys can see that, I don't know. I'm doing a really bad job showing you, but you can see this little part. It's a little bit different because the Canon G7X Mark I doesn't have this feature where like you can like tilt it down. It's like a zigzag. This feature is not on the Canon G7X Mark I. So it's a lot easier to break, I think. I'm gonna have to be a lot more careful with this camera because my other camera, I never really had to like be careful with it. I treated that thing so badly probably, but this one I'm definitely gonna have to watch out and make sure that this doesn't like break because I can see that breaking, which I'm kind of scared about, but I'm always gonna like just keep it up like that. But you can do that if you're like filming high up, which I guess, oh, you can't even see that. But if I'm filming like high and I need to see something, it's good that this thing like kind of comes out like that. Again though, I would be kind of nervous about that. I wouldn't want it to break off, but that's a big difference between the Canon G7X Mark I and the Mark II. Another feature that's different that is like very clear 
is the little grip side here. My old Mark I did not have this like grip feature. So it was definitely harder. It was like smooth. So you, it was easier for it to like slip. But this is like really solid in the hand. Moving on to the back side. You can see the buttons here are exactly the same. I don't see any differences there. This part right here, the little grip here, exactly the same. So that's not different. Moving to the top of the camera, that is exactly the same as well. As well as the little flip up flash, exact same mechanism pretty much that the Mark I has. And again, you're gonna be like, Alex, why, why? I just wanted an updated one. And, and honestly, I've been using the G7X a lot more because it fits in my belt bag a lot easier. The quality is amazing, like I said. This is really good for photos because it was blowing up on TikTok for photos. So yeah, it's like a two in one and I can carry my belt bag and vlog. I mean, I love this camera. If you guys are wondering what this camera is, it is the Canon M50 with a 11 to 22 millimeter lens. And basically this is really good for vlogging. And I love this camera because I love the wide angle, but the problem is it's kind of big. So like when I'm with my friends and like getting content isn't my main priority. Like I want a small camera like this. I intend on using this camera, the one I'm filming on a lot more as well because at home and like when I'm out and about and like want to get content I can use this one but if I don't feel like really getting content because I want it like a small bag I can always carry this and I can take pictures so I don't know I hate when things just sit like if I've spent a thousand dollars on something or a lot of money like I want to use it so because my big camera is just literally sitting it's up for sale like i'm gonna get rid of it i'm gonna put the money towards something i'm gonna use and use a lot and i both i use these cameras interchangeably so i think that my investment is wise i do miss my old camera i'm very nervous about this honestly and i think that's a big reason why i put off getting this camera was because of this i knew this was coming but it is what it is. I am, knock on wood, pretty careful with my items, like my phones, my cameras, everything. Like I really do try to take good care of them, but I'm not gonna lie, that, that, this scares me a lot. I have no idea, there's like a little lever here. This was not on the Mark I. You can like switch it. I have no idea what that means. I'm gonna actually have to read about that. Let's see if it turns on. There's no SD card in it. Ah. All right, I'm gonna set up the time and date now. So let's see, it is, okay, it just died. So need to charge the battery. I'm gonna wait a few minutes and then try, see if only I had another battery. That was not smart on my end. I didn't realize it was the same batteries. All right, I'm gonna cut this clip. Okay, so I just took the thumbnail for this video. This has been charging for probably like 20, 30 minutes. So it shouldn't die like right then and there. I'm hoping so I want to just set the time and date at least and then maybe get a couple clips eight and then I think it's the 23rd 2023 set the time um, it's all ready to use and now I'm just gonna throw this uh, memory card in here and let's get some clips oh my gosh so the biggest thing with this camera I can tell is the lens it's so clean Wow, there's no little bits or pieces of sand or just like dust in the lens. Ugh, even though I know I had that other camera for like so long. So like after seven years, it, I mean, would incur buildup. But obviously lighting is great. It's just so clear. I do have to hold my arm out a bit like further than my other camera. So as you guys can see, like here's my other camera. Love this thing. I... It's just so big, like it won't fit, like, you know? But I'm glad I have this camera. Yes, I'm sporting the oversized shirt. I'm gonna turn it around. Autofocus seems to be pretty good. The Mark I had pretty good focus, I mean, but it will be nice to have like an upgraded version. Hopefully this one does well. Let me find like, let me do a close up of this. Maybe it'll like, come on. All right, see, 
it focuses pretty well. Like you can see the disgusting garbage in the back is blurred and then the camera I'm showing is in focus, which is nice. This is kind of a bad <laughs> example. Honestly, I don't see a huge difference with this camera than my other one, again, but it's like fine tuning, you know? Like it's just the fine tuned version of the other camera I had. And when I take fall photos and stuff, I would definitely want this camera to be the camera I use. And then a few on the iPhone, you know, you can never, you can't hit on the iPhone too much. So I think that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing. It's been forever since I've done an unboxing on my channel. I love doing unboxings, they're just so fun. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.